you're going to stay here for a holiday, then the chances are you'll fly in. Miami has an international airport, so it's just eight hours from London. A cruise liner is more likely to be your transport if you're just dropping in. Downtown Miami starts around the Omni Center, one of the finest shopping complexes in the United States. And it's here that the architecture of the 70s is shown at perhaps its very best. Many elderly people come here to spend their retirement. Miami, in its subtropical setting, is bottom of the list for selling overcoats and tops for securing an Atlantic tan. By contrast, this building was getting a spanking new pale face on the outside and inside where decoration continued. We even saw men working on stilts. The hub of downtown Miami is around Flagler Street, so that was where we walked up and down a few times. We took in the atmosphere that can be electric. Miami is just 200 miles from the communist world and illegal immigrants of all persuasions are constantly floating over from Cuba. And that's to say nothing of the massive drugs trade. Probably the best way to take it all in is to stand back and let Miami go by. For sure, it's the people that make a city, not the buildings. They only form its shape. In Miami, the pedestrians come in all shapes and sizes, perhaps a little more than they do elsewhere. At Monkey Jungle on the outskirts are two chimps by the name of Sam and Harley who perform with not any particular distinction. Monkey Jungle is advertised as the place where people are caged and the monkeys go free. So this part is a bit of American showmanship. Is that your plane? Oh, just a little stuff on my own. I'll stop it, you know what I want to hear. No, don't. Play it for her, you play it for me. Play it. Moonlight and love songs never out of faith. It's so much nicer away from the theatre, where many creatures, and not only monkeys, really enjoy a normal life. They do even better than that. They, they are protected from their natural enemies. A very short distance from Miami, along the causeway, lies one of America's most prominent showpieces, Seaquarium. In addition to killer whales, dolphins, sea lions and sharks, they boast that this is the home of the famous flipper. But then, one clever dolphin looks just about the same as any other clever dolphin. Miami is very much a playground. 
hit us some warm seas that are just about the most ideal in the world for sailing and swimming. It is the home of more millionaires per hectare than anywhere else. And it is also the retreat of more pensioners per condominium than anywhere else. And it's also where we spent two weeks before leaving by air for one more week in the Grand Bahamas. 